Welcome back guys, Assassin's Creed Valhalla just got its biggest and most important update today. It's patching the version with over 6GB to version number 1.1. The new patch is said to be solving a lot of the quest related issues and it also looks like we got some level scaling here for the lower level areas. But of course in this video we will focus on the game breaking bugs and glitches and I will show you what's still working and what's not. And I tell you there is some huge stuff still working and we will still have unlimited amounts of money. So stay tuned and check it out. The most important glitch you still want to know about probably is the Beggar Raven glitch that is located here in London just in the temple of Mitrias where there are three beggars sitting next to each other and you were able to give them only 5 coins and you received a rune that was worth around 58 coins. You could just sell them at the merchant and become filthy rich by doing that. But now it looks like they don't even give me a single rune so I just call my raven and then try it again and then I got one. So we do the raven trick now, call it again, try it again and he somehow refuses to give me more runes for whatever reason. So it seems like this is kind of patched, he gives me some runes but there seems to be a timeout or whatever. The raven trick does not reset the beggar and we cannot do infinite amounts of runes here per minute anymore. However, then I tried something here with meditation to discover if that's maybe resetting the beggar, if he just needs more time to give me more runes or if he just needs more time to collect them. And surprisingly, after a meditation and calling my raven, he is still giving me another rune, but it doesn't seem very consistent. Then I will call my my raven again and meditate again and it simply doesn't work every time so it is a real big nerf here we get some runes but we don't get as many as before so that seems to be really nerfed into the ground and it is not useful to do anymore but that's actually no problem because the rune duplication glitch is still working and it works perfectly and we get the same amount of money by using the rune duplication glitch than by doing the beggar raven trick. We still have duplicate mark of soul bows, we have duplicate huntsman armor and we can just equip our huntsman armor with new runes and just perform the trick as usual. If you're not familiar with that trick, you have to buy the Munin front tattoo from the merchant and then just talk to the tattoo guy and then you get a duplicate huntsman armor. The Mark of Solbo can be purchased at settlement level 6 from the merchant every time again after he resets. The trick is actually when you equip your runes in your huntsman armor, they are automatically be applied in your duplicate armor. I will just show it once more here in real time, equip the real huntsman armor which is the last one, then open the rune menu on the duplicate and push these runes out to get a duplicate in your inventory by just selecting and unselecting a new rune. Then just equip the real one again and push out the runes in the duplicate. Always equip the real one and push out the duplicate runes in your duplicate huntsman armor. That way you generate a lot of money. If you do it perfectly you get even more money per minute than when you do the beggar raven trick. And of course don't forget to reduce the time you have to hold down your sell button to the minimum. Then you can sell these runes much faster at the merchant. That is also a really nice trick. So unlimited amount of money is still working and that's totally awesome. Because as you know with unlimited amount of money you can buy unlimited amount of scrolls of knowledge at the merchant. Every time the merchant resets he used to have 5 new scrolls of knowledge which cost only 700 silver per piece. And you can buy an almost infinite amount of them. And you can also buy the mark of soul bow at settlement level 6. Both of these items the scrolls of knowledge and the mark of soul bow unlock at settlement level 6. And you could basically buy that and use it for all your mastery points. Theoretically you can do that at around level 200 once you finished the story and upgraded your settlement to the maximum level 6. But actually that is too good to be true. So I really wanted to check out if we really get 5 new scrolls of knowledge after every merchant reset. So I bought them all here from the merchant and then I leveled up one time naturally. That's how you reset the merchant. You have to level up by doing story missions or by just leveling up by killing enemies or doing some side quests or locations. So that's a natural level up and then we have to check the merchant again and then Boom, he only has one new scroll of knowledge for us. That's a huge nerf. 
we don't get five anymore for one level up we get plus one scroll of knowledge only that's a huge letdown so if we only get one they could basically remove it entirely but I will take one it's better than nothing. So let's check out the tungsten farm here as you know there's a really good tungsten farm in Gloucestershire where you could continuously kill a patrol and it looks like we still get one tungsten after killing that patrol here in Gloucestershire. Then we just make a manual save and reload the same save after we have killed that patrol. And then I was curious of where the patrol is actually being because it somehow didn't respawn and there were still the enemies we just killed were still lying around. So somehow these patrols kind of have now a timeout as well. They don't respawn immediately in the same location. Maybe we have to look around and find a different patrol. I haven't tested that but it is not an immediate save and reload anymore. So we can also consider that the tungsten farm is also nerfed. We could still get one tungsten but then we have to wait or find another patrol to get it again. So no unlimited tungsten farms here anymore in Gloucestershire. But you can still go to any enemy which has a wealth marker here in the world and then you can recollect his items. Here for example in Lincolnshire there is one which always drops a nickel ingot. So you basically have to write down the locations where you found tungsten ingots or nickel ingots from enemies and then just travel around and kill them continuously to get them. Other than that you can still use your unlimited amount of money to buy tungsten ingots from the merchant. At the merchant reset he gets complete three new tungsten tungsten ingots so we only get one scroll of knowledge but we can actually use our unlimited amounts of money to buy all these tungsten ingots and nickel ingots from the merchant from now on. So I'm still fine with that I just have to level up to get these ingots. And then we also had our insane god mode glitch where you were totally invisible and invincible by every enemy including the bosses. That worked when you just pressed the menu button right when the coin hits the table at every Orlock game. Then you can just fast travel to any location in the world but now it looks like the fast travel is entirely blocked when you do that. You cannot fast travel to any fast travel point whether it's a harbor or a normal fast travel point and you can also not travel to Norway or or Vinland or England by doing that. So it's totally blocked, we cannot travel, we are really locked into that game. I also tried that again just to make sure that I didn't made it wrong but it just doesn't work, we can just not do it. So that's definitely patched now, god mode is gone, we have to forfeit that one obviously. And last but not least one of the most useful glitches was the door opening glitch with Dive of the Valkyries. You could do that when you had Dive of Valkyries level 2 ability. It was not working with level 1 but with level 2 and sadly that's also not gonna work anymore. So we also lost that ability and we are now forced to do all these riddles. But the powder trap arrows are still opening any of these stone walls so you can still rely on your powder trap arrows to solve these riddles. But sadly Sadly the doors are gone and done forever. So I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.